welcome on this tutorial wish all you are well in this tutorial i am going to explain how to insert single element in an array also i will explain how to insert elements of array into another array entering into the discussion how to insert a single element into an array means we want to insert an extra value inside array elements this piece of code is to take the value of array elements from the keyboard. This instruction used to define how many elements are there into the array. So variable n is to indicate the total number of elements. Say n is equal to 6. So total number of elements into the array will be 6 starting from a0 to a5. This instruction has been used inside the for loop as the index is started from 0 to 5 while n is equal to 6 so the value of i should be 0 to n minus 1 say this is 0 and the last value is n minus 1 when this for loop will execute the starting value is 0 so when the scanf instruction will be executed when the data will be given from the keyboard that data will be stored into a0 memory location say I have given the data 10. Next it will return back to increment the value of i which is satisfying the condition. Next the data which will be given from the keyboard that will store at the memory location a1 because now the value of i is 1. So the next value will be stored here say the value I have entered it is 20. This will go on up to the value of i is 5. Say the values I have entered which are like this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. After this the value of i will be 6. Here 6 less 1 is equal to 6 minus 1 that is 5 because value of n is 6. This will not be satisfied so for loop will be terminated. Now if we want to get the value from this array then we may use the for loop with printf instruction like this way we will get these values. Now our target is to insert any value into any position in this array. We may insert an extra data to this position, this position, this position, this position, this position or this position in any position. What we should do for that? For that part this piece of code we might use. First we are taking which value I want to enter that is the key say we want to enter the value which is 25. Now in which location I want to enter say that the location is 2 means basically this is third location because the location is started from 0, 1, 2 like this way. We have entered the value say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Now the location is 2 means here I want to enter a new value which is 25. To enter the value at this location A2 what we need the value of a2, a3, a4, a5 this should be shifted rightward by one memory location means this 30 will be shifted to a3 this 40 will be shifted to a4 this 50 will be shifted to a5 and this 60 will be shifted to next memory location when this will be shifted after then only we will be able to enter a new data at this position. Now the first part is shifting of this. From where to where? The data from A2 to A5 will be shifted on memory location rightward. This is done by this instruction. If this memory location is AI data from ai will be shifted to ai plus 1. See here data from ai is shifted to ai plus 1. 
this shifting is done at this instruction see data from ith location is shifted to i plus 1 location what will the range of the value of i i will start from 5 then it will be 4 then it will be 3 then it will be 2 this fourth data will be shifted now what is this 5 5 is nothing but the end index if size is n then this is actually n minus 1 starting value of i which will be n minus 1 and the n value of i will be the location see here i is equal to n minus 1 to i is equal to location here location is second location which is 2 so by this instruction say first i is equal to n minus 1 that is 5 so a5 will be shifted to a6 which one is a6 this is a6 so the data from a5 will be shifted to a6 next i is decremented so now i is equal to 4 so data from a4 will be shifted to a5 so this 50 will be shifted to a5 again i is decremented i is 3 data from this a3 that is 40 will be shifted to a4 up to i is equal to location what is i is equal to 2 so now i is equal to 2 so data from a2 will be shifted to a3 next i is equal to 1 this is not satisfied the condition so for loop will break so what will happen after this this 30 40 50 60 has been shifted on memory location rightward so shifting is completed now we may enter the new value at this memory location what is the new value new value is inside the key variable so from this key variable we will put the value into the memory location which is defined by loc what is the value of loc it is 2 this is done by this instruction what is here the key value which is 25 is entered into the a loc is 2 so this is a2 so this 25 data will now enter at this position now the value of a2 is 25 now if we print value of array what we will get we will get 10 20 25 next 30 40 50 and 60 now running the program and checking whether we are getting the perfect output or not this is the same code from here to here this for taking value of array elements from keyboard this is to print those array elements this is for the value from the keyboard which we want to insert and this is for mentioning the location where to insert this piece of code is to insert new value this is to print out values of new array running the program entering array size 6 6 elements are say first element 10 next element 20 next element 30 next element 40 next 50 next 60 enter say the array elements are 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 now the element which I want to insert into this array say 25 and which location the location I am entering 2 I am to enter this value in third location whose index number is 2 enter say the present changed values of arrays 10 20 next 25 has been inserted here say after 20 it was 30 
now after 20 it is 25 next 30 40 50 and 60 so the program runs perfectly now i am going to explain how to insert all elements from an array into another array say this is first array a having six number of elements b is another array having three elements now i want to insert values of this array b into array a when the array a is initialized with this values then a memory block will be allocated for this array in first memory location the value is 10 then 20 30 40 50 and 60 now another array is b which is having three elements for this b another memory block will be allocated and the data in first memory location is 100 next memory location data is 200 and last memory location data is 300 now the elements of this b will be inserted into the array a now why i want to insert these elements the user defined index here i have used and from the keyboard i am taking a particular value which will indicate in which memory location in array a the values of b will be stored so this instruction this loc will provide starting memory location where to insert say if we enter the value of location is equal to 2 means at the memory location a2 the value of array b will be inserted means the first value from b that is this 100 will be inserted into a2 position the next value that is 200 will be inserted into a3 position and the last value will be inserted into a4 position to insert these three values into these three positions what we need we need to shift the values 30 40 50 and 60 in rightward direction as this three position will be replaced by these values the value from a to 30 should come at this position value from a3 that is 40 should come at this position from a4 value should come at this position and a5 value should come at this position so what is happening here this value should be shifted in rightward direction by three memory locations this is one two and three means for a particular memory location i the value should be shifted to the memory location i plus 3 for this case now what is this 3 this 3 is basically size of the array which is to be inserted into another array in this case the size of that array is 3 so i am taking that value into a variable for generalize the code this is basically i plus n where value of n is 3 which is nothing but the size of second array so this is done by this instruction see ith element has been shifted to i plus nth element now what is the value of this i here this value will be shifted to here index of this is i which is nothing but the size of array a minus of 1 say the size of this array is m this is the position m minus 1 for this example what is the value of n here size is 6 so i am taking that value into another variable m so first value of i is m minus 1 next i will be decremented means this should come to this place this should come to this place ultimately what is the last index last index is a2 in this case which is the location so ultimate value of i should be location so see in this case this is the instruction where i is m minus 1 to location so 
while this for loop will execute then this 30 40 50 and 60 will be shifted to the memory location a5 a6 a7 and a8 so shifting is already over now what is needed we need to place the value of this b into the position a2 a3 and a4 so b0 will be placed into this a2 means the ith value of b will be placed into i plus here this is this 2 so i plus 2 what is 2 2 is nothing but the location so i plus location variable of a so this is that instruction to put the value of different element from array b into the position of array a now what will the value of i say i is equal to 0 to i is equal to 2 what is this 2 this 2 is basically n minus 1 n is the size of array b this n minus 1 so see the value of i is 0 to n minus 1 i less than n means i up to n minus 1 so this for loop will place the value of different elements in array b into the memory location of a that is a2 a3 and a4 so after executing this two for loop what are the value of different elements in array a 10 20 next 100 next 200 next 300 next 30 has been placed here 40 has been placed here 50 has been placed here and 60 has been placed here now running the program this same code array a having six elements in which the value of array b will be inserted and this is the location variable where to be inserted this is the for loop for shifting the values in array a this is the for loop for placing the value of array b into array a and this is the for loop for printing the new values of array a now running the program enter the location to be inserted say i am inserting it in third location the index value is 2 say the new array 10 20 and in third location the value of array b 100 200 and 300 has been inserted after that 30 40 50 and 60 so the program works perfectly